most definitely, and we've actually reached out to other uh, theaters um, in the state of Ohio and actually in Indiana as to uh, what their playbook was when they started, when they were in our situation of, okay, we, we've we procured this, now what do we do? And uh, so it's been great to learn from them and it's been great uh, that people that are just starting have come to us and how, how do you get this done? And we've done presentations, uh, statewide presentations on the projects that, on the project that we've done. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just a very meaningful process to go through and also to see that others are doing it because these are gems and um, something that was so vitally important to people 100 years ago and we need to make certain that it's available to be vitally important to the future. If somebody was was looking to get into restoring a, a historic theater that was, you know, in as bad a shape as this space was, I would say do uh, better investigations than we did. Um, line up your funding ahead of time. Make your allies. Um, we did a lot of that. Um, it's just that the project was just so much greater than what we expected. Um, and you just, you cannot be afraid. You have to take the plunge and commit 100%. Uh, to be perfectly frank, we sold an investment property which was meant to be our retirement fund in order to do this project. We can't give up. We have to make this work. So there's something to be said for having your back to the wall. It's a good motivator, right? Yeah, definitely. And I think we as outsiders see the potential in this city that a lot of times people who have lived here a long time don't realize. Like this downtown has so much potential. It could be a huge tourist destination, you know, where it's located right between all these major metropolitan areas. And we see that. We were like, this, this could be something, you know? So I think people who've lived here a long time maybe don't think about like how amazing it could be.